Hi everybody, I'm Ehsan Qayyam Aghami from Iran. Uh, I present uh, my game against Marat Jomaev from the first Echo Chess Cup which was held in Tehran recently. I'm going to explain what happened during our game which was, uh, was, uh, which was from last round of this event. Actually, I need to win uh, for taking the first place as uh, I was half a point behind him before last round. Marat Jumayev is white and I am black. We start the game with e4 and start with c5. I was going to play Khan Sicilian. Start play knight f3. Play e6. Play knight c3. Just wanted to check my check um, my move orders. I already decided to play a6 for this game. Play d4. C takes d4. I takes d4. Queen c7. Very solid move, which gives many options in coming moves for uh, black. I just wanted to check. What it prepared for me, the G3, as he needed only throw to take first place. He took a very safe line and just wanted to check my opening and my preparation. I played Bishop B4, which is very useful move in this moment. Knight E2, the move which gives uh, some chance to take advantage for white. Other move is bishop d2, which is not very promising, and most of players prefer not to play that instead of knight e2 in this moment. On this one, knight f6, bishop g2, bishop e7. Here. Like uh, move bishop e7 doesn't show his hand and just keep this option to uh, play with the king in the center for longer tail. Now Marat played castle, played knight c6. The other option is d6 instead of knight c6. h3. Since black is getting prepared to play b5, uh, you should keep everything under control and then play b5. At the moment, b5 is not possible for black because if I play b5, my opponent can answer with knight d5 and it's going to take some advantage. After e d5, e d5 and knight cannot move from c6 because of d6 threat and white stands slightly better after castle d6 d6 and white has better again so i have to play d6 first here to prepare for b5 now i played a4 stop then b5, castle, the move which has to be played somehow, somewhere, and I think it's time to play castle, because uh, bishop on c8 uh, want to develop from b7 square, and if I play with b8 uh, right now, maybe uh, my pieces coordination are not working quite well. So I prefer to play castle here. My opponent played g4, rook b8, preparing to play b5 and give some uh, free square for my bishop, light square bishop. My opponent played my g3, b5, move has to be played. Sooner or later, I have to create some pressure over white center. A B five, B five, G five, 
knight d7 of course knight b8 cannot be very strong since d7 is much better a square for the knight in this uh, type of position in sharing them stuff f4 b4 knight c e2 to normal mode so here black has some options to play moves like Queen b6, Rook e8, or Bishop b7, all are playable. But uh, somehow I decided not to give him check and keep his king over g1 square for longer term, which can be useful for some tactical moments for black. So I played Rook e8. I tried to and well place my pieces in king side and with center h4 is using all potential with his pawns to bring more pressure over my castle bishop f8 some typical move in German and stuff b3 is another option b3 can be played for black as well White played b3 himself, bishop b7, some normal place for bishop, since black is getting prepared to bring some pressure over white center by uh, pawns movements, uh, moves, uh, moves like e5 or d5, and this bishop can be really helpful in this diagonal, h5, could be c8, Rook, uh, uh, rook has gone already it's duty over b8 square now we get new post over c8 bishop b2 knight is a very useful and important move at the moment black brings some pressure over c2 pawn also is getting prepared to play d5 which can be really crushing for white center. Marat played rook c1 to defend the c2 pawn. I played d5. After this moment, uh, I feel black has already uh, clear advantage, and uh, this is white who has to find enough sources to equalize the game. Uh, and the position is completely dynamic, it's not so easy to equalize. Marat decided to continue his attack with move like f5. To me it was a bit strange because I felt that after d takes d4, black stands clearly better. Because uh, there is no some real attack uh, for white and all black pieces are doing well and I think this is white who will face some difficulty very soon. F6, G takes F6, G takes F6, Knight D5. Very simple. You can look at the pawn uh, O H5 and F6. Both of these uh, pawns uh, giving. Uh, very good chance for black to play with safer king. At the moment, these pawns just limit the options uh, for white only. I mean, if white didn't have this pawn, uh, he had much easier game to continue. But a pawn on f6 is really good protection for black's king. So, Marat played bishop e4, bishop h6. Not only for threatening the rook or c1 to block the h5 pawn. This h5 square could be really useful for white, but uh, here pawn on h5 just limit the, the option for white, and uh, white has really hard life here. After bishop h6, my opponent played queen e1. Somehow he decided to give exchange for free. 
but of course I don't accept. I played king h8 to create more attack over his king. g file is completely useful at the moment. My opponent played king h2. There are a lot of options to continue moves like rook g8, knight e5, many things, many things. Just the position is clearly worse for uh, white and black has a clear advantage and very close to win. White is very close to win, so I play knight b3 to attack his rook over f1. Also, my other threat is bishop takes b4. Queen b4, knight f1 check, knight takes rook over f1 check, rook takes f1, bishop takes e4. Queen takes e4, queen takes c2, queen d4, already one exchange up for black, knight c5, black has to play a bit active because white's king is quite weak and uh, his pieces are not well coordinated, bishop a3, knight takes b3, queen d7, knight d2, Rook f2, knight e4, to attack the wall, rook g2, knight takes g3, knight takes g3. Here I played queen c7, but the other option is queen c4, which is very strong, and actually it was my first choice over the board, but somehow because of time travel, I decided to play some safer line, like queen c7, queen takes c7, rook takes c7. Knight e4, rook c4. My opponent played rook e2 here. Since uh, knight, d, uh, knight d6 is not possible, rook e2 seems uh, very logical. If he plays knight d6, bishop f4, check is coming. And I capture the knight over d6. So my opponent played rook e2, rook g8. Just cut the king from g5. And don't let him to play with his knight. King h3, bishop f4, keeping control uh, where black squares, g3, h2, bishop e2, and some simple move like h6, and my opponent resigned in this moment. Position is completely lost, and uh, white has no chance to hold the position. I hope you enjoyed this game. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later.